might make the pain of leaving somewhat easier. I guess I thought if I was going to be shot in the face in here, it would probably be me pulling the trigger. afraid of the fires. You think they'll hurt you? You think they'll char your skin and char your bones? But it'll make you clean in the long run. Uh -huh. The joys of hygiene! Come to me, you sinners, you evil men. You were born in filth and squalor, but today you will be Lands in fire! No, no, no. It was hard seeing Brewer go out like that, but I got to thinking. It was what he was waiting for, a chance to make a difference. At least that's what helps me sleep at night. The apartment made me wish I'd got to know him better. Looked like he was keeping an eye on me. Must have thought we were kindred spirits. More and more, I think he was right. It made for interesting reading. If I'd been given a few more years looking into the bottom of a glass, I might have been on the same page. Adventures of Captain Baseball Bat Boy, episode 203. We join our hero on a date at the arcade with Bicycle Helmet Girl. Yeah, we're not on a date. We join our hero on a top secret training mission. That's more like it. When in the blink of an eye, the trickster sussy appears <laughs> and grabs mm -hmm. Bicycle Helmet Girl. Uh, help me, Baseball Bat <laughs> I'll save you. Base is loaded. Here's the wind-up and the pitch. Then suddenly, the trickster Sassy presents his latest evil trick, a devilish aging ray. Oh, no, Triple B. Don't get unnaturally old before your time. Don't worry, Bicycle Helmet Girl. I'll never get old. Oh, Drat, I got old. Hit a grand slam and save me, Triple B. Oh. Oh, gee willikers! <laughs> How will our hero hit a home run when he can't even run the bases anymore? What will he do next? <laughs> Find out in the next episode of The Adventures of Captain Baseball Bat Boy! Hippos get hungry in the middle of the night. Good thing Hippo's Hamburgers is open 24 hours. Try the Hippo Family Pack. Keep those little hippos fat.
there was nothing left for me here, except maybe a quick and ignominious death. This old guy, my days of playing dress up were over. I wasn't some gallant knight. I didn't need a shield. I didn't have a fancy green light on my gun, just the stubborn desire to stop those thugs from having their way. I had wanted to live so bad in years. Up and out, scramble away from what's left of your life over dead bodies and a few loose roof tiles. If I'd thought things through, I may have sat down and let myself burn right there. Strange to be at the center of it again, the target that is, like an old comedian hearing one last round of applause. <laughs> We're gonna get this prick. <clears throat> Come on, wanna get some motivation? Let's go. Hey, what was that? What was what? I heard something. Up there! Up where? Up there! What you bitching? Oh, <laughs> no, there he is! Shoot him! God. 
damn it! Need some help there, brother? I need his help. Five minutes ago! You look like you were doing fine. Yeah, well, it doesn't feel that way. Well, you ain't lost it. Hey, it looks like there might be a way down through the wreck up here. There were wrecks all around, and not the kind you fix up for a weekend project. These were the wrecks you crossed the road to avoid. They don't need to second-guess us when they're covering all the angles. There were wrecks all around. And not the kind you fix up for a weekend project. These were the wrecks you crossed the road to avoid. I could go on alone, but it wouldn't be so much fun. <laughs> Man, they're always one step ahead. They don't need to second guess us when they're covering all the angles. I was guessing the stairs wouldn't take us to the penthouse, but they were worth a shot. Always in moderation. You settling in here? 
These chumps have been chopping up cars around the corner from my apartment for the last year. The ex-cop and me clocked it months ago, but the deadbeat and me didn't give a shit. What the fuck? Don't show the blood so much. Must have forgotten about those. How's this look? Okay. these parts let's just get over there yeah think you need a hand no do you let's go amigo you like that <laughs> should be a bit quieter in here yeah it's nice Yeah, I can see why you'd want to leave this place, Max. It's real charming. <laughs> Isn't it? So look, I got some friends in Queens. We can stay there for a few days. Queens. You want a job yet, Max? So here we were, miles up the Tiete River. Looking for what we did not know. Max. You listening? Max! So like I was saying, I think they're a group called the Krashapret. So why did you tell me they were called the CS? They are. I mean, Fabiana. She was kidnapped by the CS. The guys that crashed that little party at the stadium, they were a group of paramilitaries. You'll have to forgive me for not being able to follow all this. You're not supposed to follow it. The government can't even follow it. It ensures that no one's ever guilty. So why'd they do it? Bust us at the stadium. Eh, somebody told them we were gonna be there with a whole lot of money. Anyway, the money's gone. I just hope we can get the girl back. Yeah, me too. Wonder where the hell she is. You know there's a harbor about a half a mile up? She's gotta be there. This is a known Comando Sombra area. You know, if I'd been doing my job properly, we wouldn't be out here in the middle of nowhere looking for some broad who got pinched on my watch. That's what we tell ourselves, huh? It's all our fault. 
No, I'm serious. By the time they grabbed the girls, I was half cut. I ain't slipping, man. I'm slipped. I'm a bad joke. Max, we work private security. We're all ex-soldiers, ex-special forces, ex-cops, ex-good guys. We all have our reasons why we became ex. Maybe now we can put things right, okay? So that was it, was it? Say the magic word and be absolved of your sins. If only shit were that simple, I'd have done it years ago. Me, I've been stuck in the past so long, I'd forgotten what year it was. Hey Max, quit your daydreaming. This is it. It's over there. I'm gonna cut the engine. Light in. Don't go anywhere. like Passos had brought us to the right place. That was the chopper the Commando Sombra used to escape the nightclub attack. If Fabiana wasn't around here, then at least someone that knew where she was had to be. Here I was, some hopped up gringo a long way from home, making trouble the only way I knew. As the weather worsened, I caught a glimpse of the rusted shells of previous lives that had been lived out here in this swampy shithole, and I wondered if I would end up the same way, or what would happen to that girl I was supposed to protect. as part of me would rather be anywhere else, I knew this was where I had to be. I felt responsible. I just had to fix the situation right here. I couldn't understand them, but I didn't have to. Cheap hoods are the same from here to Timbuktu. The slab of meat on the boat was clearly the boss. Serrano, they called him. And it seemed that our suspicions were correct. Fabiana was here, somewhere further ahead. I had to find her quickly and quietly if possible. Last thing I wanted was a party with these clowns. Watch it! Ah! Oh. 
So far, I'd managed to keep a low profile, a bit out of character for a guy who's only comfortable with a bottle of whiskey or a gun in his hand. I kept moving toward the signs of life, rubbing them out as I went along. I guessed the center of the maze was in this direction. I'd seen enough to know that Fabiana was at least alive, if not exactly well. Her captors didn't look like they were quite the kind and gentle type. I had to find that room quickly. I didn't want to think about what would be happening on that video feed now. They probably made their ransom notes from the same glossy magazines they used to select their victims. This was a second request for payment. The best of intentions at the stadium weren't enough to cover it. I'd seen was somewhere up ahead. find Fabiana sooner than later, if at all.
had to press on. I didn't want to find you just in time to watch them deliver the coup de gras. Oh. chair that she had been held in. I had just missed them. A dor. Com a idade vem a dor. É dor de cabeça, dor de estômago, dor na virilha, dor nas juntas, dor de ressaca. É por isso que existe... Interfecto. Interfecto é um analgésico forte para a dor forte. This is INC. We have reports of more violence erupting in Panama, where citizens are still reeling from this attack two months ago. Colombian paramilitary group United Souls of the People, or AUP, have been waging a campaign of violence and terror in the area around Bastidas, despite government attempts to stabilize the region. Staying in Latin America, an explosion of violence in Brazil's largest city, Sao Paulo, as much publicized initiatives to stop feuding between favela gangs and the police have completely failed. Some local activists blame much of the city's problems on the activities of right-wing groups Cracha Preto and Nova Garda, who they accuse of vigilante-style attacks in the areas of the city where police have lost control. Some human rights organizations report a slew of missing persons in the city, a topic that many observers say local law enforcement isn't taking seriously. This turmoil is shaping up to be a hot topic in next year's mayoral election. Right-wing candidate Victor Bronco was once a front-runner, but is now falling behind in the polls. <laughs> well, there may be some political storm clouds out there, but the sun is shining in many regions today. Over to Marisol with the weather. Here we go again. She was on the move. If they'd finally decided to kill her, I wasn't doing anything to persuade them otherwise. They'd been making a reality show starring Sao Paulo's favorite housewife. Probably thought it would grease the wheels with the ransom money, but it only made me want to shove the cash down their throats. drilling through the wall. It sounded more like boat hull than bone, but I needed to be sure. There she was, right in front of me. The drunk fool in me wanted to make a play. But I had just about enough sense to know that I'd end up with another Aí, dead girl in my arms if I did.
Serrano had taken Fabiana through the garage door. I had to find a way to open it. Coke in the air wasn't doing anything to sharpen my thinking. Was there a switch in that room? It seemed Serrano's boys had targeted the entire Bronco family and didn't give a shit which one they pinched. I opened the door to the next circle of this low-rent hell. Serrano was reading his reviews. Vain chump. The newspaper was plastered with the news of the first kidnapping attempt. These were the floor plans to the nightclub. Seemed Mr. Serrano liked to be prepared. Proper little boy scout. That gangway would get me through. seen Fabiana in a worrying amount of time, but at least I wasn't following the trail of her fingers. I thought I might find something on the other side of the gate. I 
I had to keep on going across the docks. I had to find a way to close the sluice gate so I could get across. Malaria tablets might have been more useful out there. There they were. I had the feeling I'd been running one step behind ever since I got to this country. Maybe a few years before that as well.
Max! You all right? What's going on? Where's they, Fabiana? They took her in a boat. That way. Straight ahead. Okay, okay, don't worry. Hang on. Boy, did I need to hang on. The whole operation was slipping out of our grip. I was an overconfident jump of going into the jungle alone. Shit, more company! Decoy ball!
idea. Hold on. For a second time. Another habit I didn't want or need. It's close. We almost had her. Damn. I don't think we ever had much of a chance. No one told us they had an entire goddamn army. I don't think anybody knew. Some crazy shit. Yeah. It's all crazy, pal. Non-stop insanity. Thought I left all this shit behind. Easy gig, you said. What a fool I was to get involved in this madness. Up, Max. Come on. Get up, you big bastard. Come on. I'm up. Yeah? You don't look up. Just give me a second, will you? Really not feeling too good. <clears throat> hey, Max, what is it with you in interior design? Huh? You, you really know how to give a place a great lived-in feel, huh? This is beautiful. 
Fuck off with the fucking wisecracks. Really, I'm not in the mood. Okay, sorry, bro. The boss wants to see us, so let's go, come on. Take your time, man. Fucking unbelievable. Jesus. I heard that. Oh, give me a second. I'm not feeling so good. Bon dia. Elisa está aí? O que que o senhor acha? Claro que sim. E o senhor bem pontual, não? Tudo bem. Não? Ah. You fucking pair of clowns! I'm sorry, sir. We risked our lives several times over trying to save. I, I, I know. I just wish I knew what was happening and why. Yes. Who has it in for our family? I mean, just because we are rich and happy. Is that a good reason to hate us? I do a lot of good in this town. A lot. This is hell for me. As I told you yesterday, when I get Fabiana back, I think I will move us to Miami or Geneva. It feels like nothing good can come from living in Sao Paulo right now. I hope you're not giving up on our city, Senor Branco. Listen, we will catch the man. You have my word on that. Listen to Mr. Becker, brother. Yes, these are tough times, but we have been through it before. Like when father died. Father had a heart attack visiting a brothel. Yeah, it was humiliating and embarrassing for sure. But now this is different. This is the end for me. Well, she's not dead. Maybe we'll be lucky and get her back safe soon. I can almost guarantee it. If you do as I ask. Maybe. Be strong, brother. For your wife. I know this has been tough on you. But things will get better. For all of us. Hmm? Marcelo, pasos in my helicopter. This way. Sure. Mr. Becker? Senor? Let us give you a ride. Bom. Até logo, senor Branco. And may I say, you would be best served se contratar profissionais e não esses amadores pés de chinelo. Goodbye, Mr. Becker. Até logo, senhor Branco. I had so many plans, Max. Didn't we all? I was born into great fortune. Sometimes it feels like I have done nothing apart from being a rich man in a poor country. The men I talk to, they only see money. Now my wife, I am not naive. She does not love me for my body. Well, despite your good fortune, you're still a decent man. <laughs> am I? I don't know. I try to be. But maybe I'm just another rich fool. Just like the rest of my friends. Com licença. Tem uma ligação para o senhor, um policial chamado Senhor da Silva. Ah, diga que eu ligo mais tarde. Sim. Another bent cop wanting a pension contribution. Do you think a pile of shit feels popular because it's surrounded by flies? <laughs> Look at me. I'm a mess. Meu Deus! Sim, pode entrar! Senhor, temos um problema. O sistema de segurança foi desativado. I can see that. We got men entering the building, and the office won't lock down. Posso? Claro que pode. It's not working. Uh, there's a way to reboot the system. If I can get to the server room, I should be able to get everything back online. Strange. You pay a couple million dollars, and you expect to, to push a button to, to be able to, to make all your problems go away. All I got was some useless junk and a bit of false confidence. I'm done, Max. Sir, let us handle this. You stay in your office, lock yourself in. Do not answer the door unless you know it's me. Let's go. I should be able to override the system if I could just get to the server room. What's going on? Nothing to worry about. Everything's fine. Get down behind the desk. Now, both of you. <laughs> <laughs>
Max! Yeah, it's safe. Come on. We need to get you to the server room. Let's go. Por que não posso ficar aqui com você debaixo da mesa? Let's go. Come on. Okay. I'm coming. Come on. The real security guards had been run off, paid off, or bumped off. That left us. It wasn't a fantastically comforting thought. Stay with me, Max! That was the office Victor used at Fabricas Bronco. Victor's off. They'd been keeping an eye on Fabiana from afar. Shame they'd been more interested in supposed infidelities than thugs sizing her up for a snatch. Max! into the boardroom. Okay. Glad to see the security system is keeping the right people out. Ah! Oh shit! Such luck. We gotta go. It's through here. It was a lot shinier than a favela, and rent would be easier to collect. Maybe Bronco would take pity on all the poor bastards who got evicted. I just had to keep him alive to find out. I'd woken up with a headache, and it was only getting worse. The server room is just past those cubicles. These clowns were the same guns for hire who jumped our exchange at the stadium. Cracha Prado, the black badge, right-wing paramilitary chumps protecting whoever paid the most. I guess that made them more like me than I cared to admit. Were they just looking for another payday or did their business with the Broncos run deeper? <laughs> Get that server back online. Can we just spend a few more minutes? Make sure they're all done? Come on, don't worry. 
I got your back. Poor kid was scared shitless, but I thought we'd seen the worst of it. Okay. The, the server room is just down here. You're doing good. Come on. Hey? Eh? I just... I didn't think I'd have a day like this when I wake up in the mornings. <laughs> Wish I could say the same thing. Hmm? Fact was, I'd gotten used to protecting Bronco in the big bad world. We hadn't anticipated a siege situation here. Hadn't prepared for it. I couldn't tell the kid that. Something told me these guys didn't have security clearance. Fix this or what? In a few minutes, eh? I should be able to reboot the system, get all the components back online. What about Bronco's office? That's all I care about. He should be able to lock us down, eh? If this works. All right, well, whatever you're doing, do it quick. I'm gonna make a sweep of the building and then get back to Rodrigo's. The security system is back online. Things might be a little tougher for our fan club from here on in. It seemed like breaching the perimeter had been no more difficult than strolling through the front gates. But hey, who needs a Trojan horse when the alarm is down and your standing army is a dame, a dork, and a drunk? Bronco's office overlooked the atrium. I could check in and make sure he hadn't checked out. Guy's working on the security system now, sir. It just came on. Okay, good. Then lock yourself down. Stay put. Let us take care of these guys down here. Once they realize they can't get to you, they should back off. Max, try not to completely destroy the place. Let's just concentrate on staying alive. Sir! There it went. He was tucked up safe. Now I needed to make it to the lobby to complete my sweep of the building, for what that was worth. They could replace these on Monday morning.
Hmm, graduation shots of Rodrigo, Victor, and Marcelo, educated at rich kid finishing schools all over Europe. No wonder they had the common touch. Poor girl was dead. Shot through the head by some hero fighting the rich one lonely secretary at a time. like we had seen the worst of it. The elevator would take me back up to Rodrigo's office where we could wait the rest of it out. I didn't know what the hell I was going to find up there, but I sensed it wasn't going to be a stripper bursting out of a cake. Senor Branco! Senor Branco! I can't get through to him. Ever since the security door is triggered, he hasn't made a sound. Rodrigo, it's Max. Open up. Can you hear me? Eu já tentei. Senor Branco, open up! I'm going to try to get in there from the roof. You find the security guard and get the hell out of here. Yes. I knew there was another way in upstairs for the helipad, the little luxury runaround that kept the rich looking down on the poor literally as well as metaphorically. Rodrigo! 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 he was dead. Clean, one shot, a professional job. I began to look for clues. I couldn't get playback on one of the cameras and it looked like the disc was missing. Someone in this building was trying to keep things low key. But then why had everyone else come driving through the goddamn wall? Fabiana. Even if the man who employed me was dead, his wife was still out there. Maybe she could be saved. Maybe some good would... Ah. Picking the photo from the broken fragments, something caught my eye. Figures. One 
in blind luck, it meant the blast wasn't fatal. If I'd been out for any longer, the smoke would have gotten me. to death. Look at me. I've been contracted to protect two people. One was being held in some hole. The other was sitting at his desk with a bullet in his head. And the company that had its logo on my paycheck was melting on top of my head. If I survive this, it'd be a victory for gross incompetence. The kid hadn't made it. Fuck. I had to make this corpse looting coward pay. Getting his gun was more than just expediency. I was in no state to save his body from the flames. I hadn't saved him from the gunman either. I'm sorry, kid. Bronco was falling apart quite literally. Uh, despite his manners, I'd done him a favor. This didn't look like a room where Rodrigo closed multi-million dollar deals. It looked like a fiery hellhole. The only way out was to use that filing cabinet. If the heat didn't kill me, the fumes would. So much for a lazy Sunday afternoon. My next trick would be a high wire act with a fiery pit for a safety net. It was nice that no one was shooting at me for a change, but I'd take shot in the head over a slow roast on a spit any day of the goddamn week. Someone up ahead was hurt pretty bad. If he didn't die before I got to him, I might get some answers. Hey! Why? Why Rodrigo Bronco? Why? What? Why did you come to kill Rodrigo Bronco? We came to kill you! Because of what you did to us! You killed so many of us! What reason did this poor bastard have to lie? He would be dead from shock or loss of blood in half an hour, even if I didn't leave him there to burn. Where's Fabiana? What? 
Fabiana Bronco, where is she? That Commando Sombra got her. Up the hill. And it was up the hill for me, I guess, where the gang held sway. I had to try to figure out who was using these angry paramilitary clowns as some kind of front to kill Rodrigo. Bronco was dead. Fabiana was held hostage. I had no idea who was behind any of this. I felt like a fool. I was a sweaty, gray-haired mess. This place, well, this place was gonna kill me too. I could see that now. I decided that I was gonna die sober, not drunk. Ah! <laughs> At least then I would see who shot me. It was time to take back control from whoever was out to get me. And if I didn't flush them out, at least my midlife crisis would confuse them enough so they did something stupid. It was the only hope I had. I knew I wasn't thinking straight. I'd been drinking and popping painkillers for years. I had a liver like a French goose and skin like red leather. Well, it wasn't perfect. In fact, it wasn't much good at all. But it was going to have to do. I was facing in the right direction. Tá ligando, hein? Alô? Hello, Victor. Max? Max, you're, you're, you're alive? Of course I'm alive. We did not know this. We are lost, Max. Our brother was everything to us. I understand. Listen, I'm, I'm sorry about your loss. Both of you. Rodrigo was a good man. I failed him. I, but I was tricked. What happened, Max? I don't know. Some guys from the crush of Prado came into the building downstairs, so while me and the security guard were dealing with them, an assassin must have come in and executed your brother. I, at least that's how I think it happened. No, you killed him, Poha. You killed my brother. What are you talking about? I, I understand you're upset, but please, why the hell would I do that? To get his money, to take his money. How am I getting his money, Marcelo? Please, think. I worked my ass off for your family. I saved your life twice, or more. And right now I'm going to get Fabiana. Where is she? Where is Fabiana, eh? She's in a place called Nova Esperanza. How do you know this, Max? One of the crotch of Prado told me just before he died. Please, bring our sister-in-law back to us, Max. Our family is being torn apart. So I guess I was finally about to go and experience the other side of Sao Paulo firsthand. The bit people try to ignore. The unpleasant memory they try to obliterate with cocktails and helicopters and parties and lines of blow, like rich fools the world over. I was a day off the sauce for the first time in years and knew I was due a hangover sent direct from Mother Nature. Tipo 
I had no idea where the hell I was going to go, so I decided to head straight for the street party that seemed to be raging. Either that or some other fool had gotten there before me and now was being ritually sacrificed. I've had better ideas, but then I've also had worse ones, like accepting this job in the first place. E aí, gringo? Que lost, kid. Eu me amarro nos States. Você precisa de ajuda, senhor? Speak English? Aham, uh -huh, falo sim, sem problema. I need to know if you've ever seen this girl, Fabiana. Come here for a second, look at her. I know lots of girls, sexy. Come on, come on. This way. Where are you going? Wait a minute. Down there? É <laughs> isso. Jesus. At least I found myself a tour guide. 